Hello from Slovenia again. Today I have a motorized canvas spinner by Paint Pour Store. I'm so excited to try that. Um, I love their split cups and flower shaped cups and now I have an opportunity to try this motorized spinner too. Uh, it comes with this um, adjustable magnetic canvas grippers. Uh, you just screw them in to your canvas with these screws like that and here is a magnet and here are the magnets that uh, uh, keep your canvas on the spinner and you got this thing for tiles too so you just um, tape your tiles or wooden boards that don't have an edge uh, on this and you can use them too but I will use canvas you see and like that it's just a second it's thick fixed or how can I say and you have this What is this thing that you regulate the speed? So see this is on two on one just a little bit. I will not go all over but you know has quite a lot of speed so it should be interesting I will protect my my sides but first of all I want to talk with you about the technique that I will do I will just put this aside first uh, I watched premiere by Nate Breitart on Sunday and he did this amazing Nautilus he called it Nautilus Pour because it's kind of a spirally shape with the sink strainer I already before done that so it's not something new but Nate did really nice one and I was inspired by his colors and I thought to myself okay I have to try this with the with the motorized spinner so that's what I will do today I will use titanium white Amsterdam greenish blue and golden, golden permanent violet dark and I will use three chamber cup by paint pour store and this sink strainer okie doke so let's do that Nate you have to have this this one I think uh, so I will put white in the middle chamber and greenish blue on one side and violet on the other side. And I will 
or a little bit of white here in the middle to have a flow extender kind of and I will spin it a little bit Let's do that. I have this on one and a half because I don't want to spin too hard now. Go faster. And now I will leave. Maybe I will spin a little more. I will just add some paint here on those corners. don't have it in the middle that's okay okay let's spin some more
Street. Schweinchen. I don't know. Okay. And at this point I will torch it and then I will spin it a little more. Because I do have those deep, deep edges and I need a paint to go a little more over the edges. Just a little more. Okay, now my sides will be covered too. Maybe one more spin because some beautiful things are happening when this opens up. definitely want to have this <laughs> and of course many others um, it's just gorgeous I love the colors I I wish a little more white I don't know why I don't have it but that's how it is but it will dry pretty nice, I think. I had these highlights from white, you know, in, in violet and in greenish blue, but... Love it. So let me clean this a little bit and take it down for a close-up and talk about this. What I feel about the spinner. See you in a bit. So here it is. I love it. Hope that you see those details and this red ones, red one, purple ones here and the sides with those lines are just amazing. I know that it will dry darker, but I think that it will have a nice contrast. Probably this is the way that I would hang it, but, you know, it's all up to you. I'm really, really happy with this one, and I love this spinner, so I will definitely play more with it. Uh, you can visit Paint Pour Store. Uh, this is 
a code for their YouTube channel. You can see how attach how you can attach those grippers and everything. Or you can visit paintpoorstore.com. You have coupon code in my description box. So Nate I know that you would love it and probably a lot of other artists too because it is different you know because uh, you don't need to deal with spinning while you are pouring or how can I say it's kind of cool and you get those different effects because the painting is constantly spreading while you are pouring. You can do that if you uh, spin your canvas yourself. So this is one technique. Tell me in the comments which technique do you think that I should try with this motorized spinner. And see you on the next one. Bye!